Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll show you how to find website vulnerability in Kali Linux using a built-in tool, UniScan. Let's get started. Right, I am on my Kali desktop over here. Why we need website vulnerability? It is to secure the website with the help of ethical hackers, while on the other side, the black hat hackers gain this to hack the website. For this, we will use Uniscan tool, which is web vulnerability scanner and can be used with CLI and GUI. So over here on my terminal, I will use sudo. Uniscan and here are the options and how you can run this command over here you can see several options with minus h is for help u is for the url and f you can scan through the web uh, through the file and minus b is for you scan to go in the background q is for enable the directory check w is for enable file check E is to enable robot text and sitemap file, which is for the website, uh, which give you access to the web crawlers. And minus D is enable dynamic checks, same as minus S for static check, enable strat check, talk. This is the Bing, uh, a Bing search uh, with the help of an IP. O is also with the help of the RD for Google search, web fingerprint and server uh, fingerprints. So I will not uh, go through each and every options over here we will try some of them which are most useful okay so let's scan my own website sudo uni scan minus u is for url https yasir clicks.com and enter So here's the scan is complete. The HTML report is saved in the report folder and we can browse through it through CD slash USR for user, then share, Uniscan and report. LS to check the directory structures. Here you can see the report is there. To view the report, I'll use Firefox. And then www yasir clicks.com dot html here is the web vulnerability scanner report let's start at this time domain is this server banner is koboy target ip is this there is no crawler scan time and it's finished so this was a short report because we haven't used any of the switches which i mentioned over here so let's use some of the switches we'll use sudo uniscan minus u and then https okay in my website click.com then you will use a switch minus q for directory check minus w for it file check e is for robot text and sitemap excel check and d is for dynamic check and s for study check so let's give it a try this one is time consuming this because it will go through each and every step. It will check if my SQL is there to further check the vulnerability. After the scan is complete, the report is saved in the report directory. You can see blind SQL injection, nothing is there. Then local file include PHP CAGI argument injection, nothing. This all will be saved in the HTML report file. No cross-site scripting, which is XSS, web shell finder, you can see the static test has been completed with plugin name and now it's scanning for local file followed by remote command execution then remote files okay so over here uh, the scanning is complete so let's check the file now firefox and there you can see the detailed file scan started and domain and here you can check the external host sitemap nothing is there calling found 139 urls within and you can go through the detailed website you can also use other switches so 
this was one of my simplest website. So over here you can see that it's uh, yasikli.com. If you find this interesting, you can go over and you can buy some of my images. Uh, I update it uh, weekly. So there you go. I'll drop the link in the description. So let's try another one. I'll try one of my, uh, this partner's website. So let's give it a try. Pseudo uni scan minus u and then again https uh, uh, precision and the same options now you can see the plugins over here this website was created using the famous cms uh, wordpress so let's see what vulnerability this tool can find okay so now the report has been saved uh, so let's see uh, Firefox and root dot precision one and there you go so this was skipped because uh, they did not return the code 404 and over here uh, robot.x sitemap was also scanned nothing found because maybe there is disallowed uh, mention in the robot.x so this was the uh, report there is no SQL injection there is no cross-site scripting so this scanning was based on the website uh, created on uh, CMS WordPress. So there are other options. So now we will use Uniscan with the IP. So you need to mention minus I, which stands for IP, then followed by quotation. And uh, inside you have to mention IP colon and then the IP. So I know that nothing will be returned for this IP. So let's give it a try. Use this with sudo. There you go. As I told you that this is for the Bing search and uh, over here you can see that zero sites are returned basically this has been saved uh, inside if you see ls uh, go back a step and ls again and you can see sites.txt if i want to view the content of site.txt so i'll use uh, leafpad sites.txt so let's remove the previous site.txt sudo rm and sites.txt check again so there is no sites.txt file over here so now we will scan with minus i option which stand for ip so in the quotation you have to mention the ip and uh, let's give it a try i already know that this will return zero result because it is for the bing search so the result has been saved in the site.txt file. So let's see the uh, content of uh, site.txt. I will use leafpad sites.txt and there's nothing as th there was zero return. So let's use another option. Let me clear the screen first and remove the site.txt. So now it's gone. So let's use another example, which is uni scan minus I still for the IP. And over here we will use in URL, we'll use in, in URL means inside the URL, index.php question mark ID equals and in quotation close. So, so this will find the URL which have index.php in it. So this is to check the vulnerability of MySQL so we can use SQL injection in our further process. So let's give it a try. Okay, I forget to mention again sudo. So sudo and enter. So over here you can see nine sites has been saved or they returned. So let's check our site.txt leave pad site.txt and there you can see these are the url which already contain index.php in our search you can even scan this url one by one through the file extension like uni scan minus f sites dot txt and then i'll use minus q again sudo So this will scan each and every 
URL within that sites.x file. I will break this over here because I don't have permission to scan that website. I have no permission to scan them. So make sure that you scan the website which are owned by you or the one which you have permission. You can also use the Uniscan in the GUI mode. For that, I will switch to my root and create the screen first and Uniscan and then GUI. So here's a Uniscan GUI. Let's me scan again my website over here, yasirclicks.com and you can check. These are the same switches uh, which you call options in the CLA mode. One more thing, if you find any error after starting the scan, that will be xterm error. So you can use the command uh, apt-cat install xterm. I will drop the link, uh, I will drop that command link in the description. You can use it as a root or sudo it. So that will solve your problem or you will not get this screen. You, yeah, so that was Uniscan from my side. You can experiment this command with all the available switches. So that was a wrap from my side. If you like my video and you find it informative, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the future videos. Thank you and bye-bye.